Welcome back to English Corner for 10th grade. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's start with the objective for today. Our objective for this challenge is to organize information about world leaders in a mind map. Let's take a look at how the challenge is organized with a lesson plan. First, we are going to learn what are keywords and how to define them. Then, we are going to learn how to answer questions and make predictions. With this, we are going to be able to organize information in a mind map. The outcome of this challenge is that you practice reading comprehension and organize information. Now, before we can continue, pay attention to the following symbols. They will help you understand the challenge. Number one, pay attention. Number two, take notes of the contents. Number three, write in, in your copybook. Number four, use your computer. Number five, take a picture. Number six, volume up and on. Number seven, go forward. Number eight, go back. Number nine, use your mobile device. And number 10, send an email. Now, are you ready? Let's start with the challenge. First, let's have a look at the materials that we are going to need for this challenge. Number one, we're going to need a copybook or a computer. Remember that in here you have to take notes of the contents. Number two, we're going to need a computer or a camera. In here you will need to take a picture or write down the activities that you're going to do in the challenge. Now, let's begin with the first part of our challenge and the contents. The first part corresponds to key concepts. Key concepts are words that we use to understand what the text is about. When we define the keywords, we can know what the text is about. Let's have a look at the following key concepts. The first key concept is lead which means to show the way to a group of people, animals, vehicles, etc. by going in front of them. The second keyword is nationalism, the feelings of affection and pride that people have for their country. And number three, against. It means disagreeing with a plan or activity. Number four, protest, means an occasion when people show that they disagree with something by standing somewhere, shouting, carrying signs, etc. Number five, movements, a group of people with a particular set of aims. And number six, assassinated, to be murdered because you are a famous or important person, especially for political reasons or in exchange for money. With these key concepts, we're going to be able to make predictions and answer questions. This corresponds to the second part of the contents. Now, what is a prediction? A prediction is a statement about what you think will happen in the future. Using key concepts, you can make predictions. Now we have the six key concepts. Therefore, we can make the prediction that the text is going to be about someone that protested against nationalism and was assassinated. Now, answering questions will help us understand what the text is about and to identify the most important information presented in a text. Some of the questions that we can use are Who is the text about? What did the person do? What are characteristics of the person mentioned in the text? When did he or she study? Where did he or she work? And why is he or she considered a leader? If we used the text that we just saw, we can answer the following. For the first question, who is the text about, we can say Mahatma Gandhi. What did the person do? He led the fight of Indian nationalism against English rule. What are characteristics of the person mentioned in the text? Used nonviolent protests, inspired movements in support of rights and freedom. When did he or she study? Is not mentioned. Where did he or she work? In India. Why is he or she considered a leader? Because of the way he protested for his country, India. Now that we know the key concepts and how to answer questions, let's have a look at how to organize the information. In this challenge, we're going to use a mind map. A mind map helps us to show how much information we have understood from the text. In this case, we're going to have a look at the following mind map. Here we have the information that we need to find from the text. First, the name or nickname, 
second, the date of birth or death, the profession, interesting information, achievements, and studies. Now, let's have a look at the same mind map completed with all the information from the text. First, the name or nickname is Mahatma Gandhi. The date of birth or death is birth 1869 and the death is 1948. The profession is not mentioned. Interesting information is that Mahatma means venerable in Sanskrit. The achievements are that he led non-violent protests, his death is commemorated as International Day of Non-Violence, and status is not mentioned. Now, it's time to remember the objective that we have for this challenge. Our objective was to organize information about world leaders in a mind map. Now, let's have a look at what you have to do for the challenge. Pay attention to the following instructions. Instructions. Number one, select one of the following texts to read. Text number one corresponds to Mother Teresa. Key concepts are none, founded, destitute, concerned, and saint. Second text corresponds to Rosa Parks, and the key concepts are pioneer, refusal, surrender, spurred, boycott, segregation, and accolades. The third text corresponds to Martin Luther King Jr. The key concepts are activist, advancing, disobedience, speech, assassinated, awarded. The fourth text corresponds to Joan of Arc. The key concepts are martyr, guidance, lead, hearing, stake, heretic, canonized. Instruction number two. Define the key concepts that appear with the text you have selected. Number three, write a prediction about the text based on the definitions of the keywords. Instruction number four, answer the questions presented before based on the text you selected. Let's remember the questions. Who is the text about? What did the person do? What are characteristics of the person mentioned in the text? When did he or she study? Where did he or she work? and why is he or she considered a leader. Instruction number five, complete the mind map presented before with information taken from the text you selected. Let's remember the mind map. Now it's time to see the modeling of the challenge. Let's see how you have to submit your answers. First, you will have to write the answers in your copybook or in a computer. Then, if you wrote the answers in your copybook, you have to take a picture. Or if you wrote it in your computer, you have to send the file through email or Instagram. Now, when do you have to submit your challenge? By Friday, November 13th by 6 p.m. How are you going to submit the challenge? You can submit it using Instagram. Remember to include your name and class and select keep in chat when you're sending a picture or send it by email. Also remember to include your name and class in the subject. It's time to see some important information for our challenge. The first important information is the rubric. Pay attention to the following images. The second important information is the long entry and the self-assessment. Pay attention to the following details on how to submit them. You will receive the links to a Google Forms with the feedback once you have sent your answers. And task will not be marked if you don't answer both forms. So remember to complete both forms before I can send your grade. Last but not least, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at YouTube SC Canal and to follow our high school's Instagram at Tercer Ciclo SC. I'll be looking forward to reading all your descriptions. See you next time.